Hello guys, welcome back to another session on RP Automation Anywhere A360. So we are going to learn Automation Anywhere A360 new features, advanced concepts and interview questions as well. Please uh, subscribe and don't forget to click on bell icon. Then that's why you will be notified whenever I upload a new video or series on Automation Anywhere A360. So we are going to learn each and every Automation Anywhere A360 concept with the help of an example. So in the today's session, we are going to learn uh triggers concepts in the previous session we have already covered file triggers so in this session we are going to cover uh you know folder triggers with help of an example so first of all we'll see what is triggers so triggers trigger is nothing but an event so it enables a task to run automatically you know in response to an event that occurs in our local computer system. So uh, like triggers something like uh, when the window is open or window is closed, file is updated, folder is updated, file is deleted, renamed, folder is deleted, renamed, or the process is running or executing, or uh, the specific uh, hot key, if you can pass a specific hot key, like control S, control V, control shift L, something like that. So based on those triggers, we can run specific task or command. So let's get started. Now we are in Automation Anywhere A360 control room homepage. So here you can create a bot in three different ways. One is by clicking create a bot option or else you can navigate to automation menu item. And there here you can just click on create new plus icon symbol to create a new bot. And you have to click on bot or else what you can do, you can choose your corresponding folder structure of under bot and there you have to click on create a bot so once you click on create a bot here you need to provide the details such as name description and folder location where do you want to save the specific task so let's say i'll create folder triggers okay so this a description is optional and the folder structure if you want to change the folder location where do you want to store you can change by clicking on choose or else you can keep the same folder structure so let me choose automation anywhere a360 and let me click on choose let me click on create and edit so once you click on create and edit it will navigate to the development editor editor of automation anywhere a360 so in the left hand side we can see a different menu items like home uh, you know or discovery process opportunities automation and you know insight uh, activity history uh, in progress you know all these options we can see and also you can also see actions so we have different actions and packages available in automation anywhere a360 we can just uh, drag and drag property we can also create variables and also we can use the triggers as well so here you can see different types of triggers available like email trigger hotkey trigger interface trigger process trigger service trigger windows trigger and folder trigger so in this today we are going to focus on folder trigger so let me drag and drop the folder trigger under the triggers activity and uh, right hand side you can see different properties for the folder trigger uh, first of all we need to provide the folder uh, for trigger event let me browse and let me select the folder from my local vdi so let me go to documents python and let me select the uh, trigger trigger folder now so under trigger folder i have a folder and a file so let me rename it to folder one okay so here we can um, perform trigger events for folder so let's see what are the options available so here if you click on the drop down you know start the bot when that means uh whenever if you perform the particular action under this drop down bot is going to perform the specific task so what i will do i'll choose uh, a folder renamed so here we have another option monitor all the folders under the folder part. that means whatever the folders are files available in the specific folder so if you select the monitor all the folder under the pro folder part then it will monitor all the folders and file 
and it will check the condition. What are all the conditions you have selected over here, whether the file is created, changed, renamed, folder is deleted, folder is created or renamed. So let me choose the folder rename and you can assign the output to a specific variable. So, but this is optional, but if you want to, uh, you know, uh, get the output of the trigger event you can just create create a variable by clicking on create variable this is a record type and here you can uh, provide the output name something like that we output and you can choose the default values of index name of the trigger and uh, everything and you can also select the date and time zone and you can also choose the file or folder from the control room or a desktop file. So as of now, uh, uh, this is not required for us to perform the folder actions. So what I will do, I'll perform a small event. So let me drag and drop message box. Message, sorry. Sorry. So let me drag and drop message box and here what i will do i'll uh, if you want to change the message box window title yes you can change the message box window title as well let me say trigger event let's say trigger event uh, a message okay so in the message box uh, body i want to display folder rename folder rename okay so if you want to close the message box after specific time you can select this checkbox and you can provide the uh, uh, seconds uh, let's suppose if you want to close the message box within 10 seconds yes you can provide the uh, time as well okay let me click on save so in the trigger will uh, in order to run this process we need to click on run button but if you see here here we have two options run now and run with the triggers so whenever if you click on run with the triggers this code will execute unless and until the condition satisfied from the trigger event so but if you click on trigger it will directly execute this line of code without checking any conditions under the trigger event so let's see both the options so first of all i'll click on uh, run now option to display the message box. So he, he, here, whether the folder is renamed or not, it is not going to check any trigger event or condition. It will directly execute the message box. If it's deployed to your computer, it's executing. And here you can see the message box already displayed and it will automatically close to, uh, you know, within 10 seconds. Okay, so it closed. Okay, so now let's see uh, how tri run trigger event will work. So let me go to uh, run and let, let's let click on run with the triggers. So in this scenario, we need to wait for some time to enable, a, uh, to enable trigger event. So here you can see deploying to your computer only. Uh, so we need to wait some time uh, to enable the trigger events whenever if you click on run with triggers. So here, if you see listening for triggers, that means it is uh, closely monitoring the trigger event, whether our folder is when folder is deep, then it is going to execute this piece of code. Otherwise it will keep on uh, you know monitoring for the specific trigger event. So let me go to this folder event and here what I'll do, I'll just rename it to, uh, Let's say A360. And let me quickly go to A361. See, here automatically status has changed to deploy your computer and it will now the and see the message box is appeared. This is how we can perform the triggers. So in the real time scenarios, uh, let's suppose if the business or SME or uh, end user want to update specific file, or specific input values, you know that in such kind of scenarios we can 
use the triggers so in the upcoming session what i'll do i i'll uh, work on the real time scenarios whenever the uh, end user input is required we need to use the trigger so i'll explain uh, the real time concept with the help of an example so please subscribe and don't forget to click on bell icon that's why you'll be notified every time when i upload a new video or series or advanced concepts on a360 as well as i'm going to upload um, a series of videos on python macros and artificial intelligence learning you have and power automate platforms as well so if you click on uh, subscribe or bell icon then you will be notified every video series uh, you know uh, and if you have any queries and concerns please drop me a message in the comment section i'll try to get back to you with the required details or i'll uh, make a uh, videos on the same concept thank you